there was a lot of toxicity in my household. And I know that in the black community, we have this thing where we raise our children and teach them to not discuss anything that goes on in our house outside. What goes on in this house stays in this house. The reality of the matter is the house for us is our mortal bodies. So not only are we teaching them to hold secrets within the four walls of our homes, we are teaching them to hold secrets within their person, within their being, within their bodies. And I have come to realize that's why a lot of these mental illnesses are growing and that that's the breeding ground. The trauma that we hold within ourselves is the breeding ground for all of these mental illnesses, these mental disorders. My own depression was a byproduct of all of the things that I held within my person, within my being. And in time, that became the anxiety. Imagine being afraid of everything. On the outside, I'm this bold person who is confident, who speaks with confidence, who walks with her head held high. And yet, in my mind, I would be tormented all of my waking hours, literally tormented, afraid of everything, at the gym, looking at the door, thinking, what if someone comes in and shoots the building up? I go to the grocery store and I scan the parking lot to see if there's anything strange going on. I walk through those doors and I already have my exit plan. It's it's something and that's not the way to live. But if we don't give our children the opportunity, the space, the room to acknowledge that we as parents sometimes fail. We sometimes get it wrong. For my oldest son, he had to live through some of the worst times of my life, which in some ways may have been some of his worst times. My middle son, he had to experience some worst times in my life as well, and my baby boy. Now my daughter's they've been able to experience a different side of me. In some ways, she's better. And in some ways, she may be worse. Recently, I came to this reality that sometimes as parents, we're so dead set on giving them what we did not have and denying them what they may actually need. I was doing that. I thought I was doing something great by giving them everything that little girl Janet felt like she needed. But my children's experience is different. So they didn't need what I needed because I was already giving them those things. However, I was denying them what they actually was craving. And for that, I owe them and I owed them an apology as a coach as a mentor someone who endeavors to help people and to talk them through these things for a living i've had so many conversations with young adults and the one thing that continues to come up is i wish my parent will at least acknowledge it just say you're sorry Oftentimes, they don't want you to go on and on and sit in it, but acknowledge it. Why do we think we can just overcome and get over things that happen to us? These are our lived experiences. Why do we think our children will just get over it? They don't. With my youngest daughter, you can ask her. We was having a conversation yesterday. And she said, mom, you're being nice today. I said, what did that mean? What does that mean? She said, well, sometimes you're a little bit nice. Sometimes you're this much nice. And I had to let her know, no, the reality is 
sometimes I'm really, really nice. Sometimes I may not be so nice. And sometimes I'm not nice at all. And the same holds true for you. I let her know. There are times where you are really, really respectful and you listen and you pay attention. There are other moments where you don't do a good job at that. And there are other moments where you totally drop the ball. But it's called being a human. For me, by apologizing to my kids, I believe I am teaching them about taking responsibility and accountability. For me as a parent, as a human being, I don't just want to be a doer. Teaching my kids to do as I say, but not as I do. I endeavor to live by example. And by me apologizing and taking ownership of my humanness, I hope that I am giving my children the courage and the permission to do the same. So parents, if there is something that you need to apologize for, please, it doesn't make you weak. As a matter of fact, I would argue that your lack of apologizing, your lack of taking ownership is in fact the thing that is demonstrating how weak you actually are. Say I'm sorry. Not just to your children. There is someone who you have hurt and you know it. Apologize.